Hello, this video is all about sewing kids clothes. So we've got back to school coming already, I know, but I love sewing clothes for my daughter. And so right now I have to think about sewing school clothes for my daughter. So I picked out five patterns for kids that will be perfect for back to school. And if you don't have kids to sew for, then make sure you check out my pattern review playlist for more ideas and inspirations on things to sew. The first one I'm going to start with, and actually these are in no particular order, I love all of these patterns. But the first one that I'm going to be talking to you about is the Lorne pattern by Little Lizard King. And it's a PDF pattern, and I love PDF patterns for kids because kids are smaller. When you print those PDF patterns, you're not printing like a huge amount of paper. A lot of times it comes to like two or three pieces of paper that you tape and then you're done, but they fit so much better than like McCall and Simplicity patterns for kids. As you can see in this picture right here, it doesn't have a set in sleeve, and you can make it with two tiers, and it's just the front and the back, and and then you add the bottom ruffle portion to it. And if you don't know how to gather fabric on your serger, you will wanna check out this video right here that will save you so much time in gathering fabric can make this lorn dress into a dress or right here i have it where i made it into this cute little tunic but that one is actually perfect for school and let me show you the back so the back just has this tie right here and you and the top is fully lined and so it's just a fun, easy make. So this is what the back looks like. And then you just do one tie right here and it looks like a tiny little cap sleeve. It's just one piece that you sew up together. Also, you guys, I'm going to be leaving a link in the descriptions tab so that you can just click on that if there is a certain pattern that you really love. The next one that I'm going to be talking about is Simplicity 9200. And here is the picture right here. And I'm going to show you even, here's the line drawings in the back. It's supposed to be a tunic. And I have a picture of my daughter right here. She's wearing it. I made hers in a view C, but I didn't attach the ruffles. So you can do it, as, but I, I would, I love the ruffles. I would attach that on the next one. Uh, one thing that I wanna warn you about the, the McCall's and Simplicity patterns is they're so huge, they have so much ease and my little one her chest is only 23 inches let me read to you the um, description on here this says size 3 up to a size 14 well you want to look at the finished size measurement because the smallest on this one is 27 and a half inches for the finished garment she's a 23 that would end up so huge on her that would be so much extra fabric so what I did is I took this and um, so even you know, let me emphasize the size three is way too big on her and she is a seven-year-old now. So that's how much ease they have. What I did though is I folded it in here in the middle. So basically I took off, it would actually be an inch. It would be an inch that I took off of the inside. And then this pattern, why this works for her is because you've also has the, you have the elastic. So it's not a form fitting dress. So I think I can get away with this. So I really do love this pattern and I recommend it because you could even lower it more to make it be a cute dress. This could be the cutest like first day of school dress that you can make for your little one. I'm going to be making that one a lot more here soon. And what I did for the elastic, I just kind of wrapped it around her neck to determine the size that I wanted for that. And on the sleeves, I didn't alter the sleeves at all. I used the size three of the sleeves. And so all I did was make the chest area a little bit narrow so that it would fit her better. And also, if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as it really does help support my channel. Thank you. Now, the next pattern that I want to share with you is this Sweetie Pie pattern. This is by Ellie and Mac, and I have made this pattern several times. And it is just a cute, 
one piece tunic dress and so you sew the front up it, there's not even a separate bodice you sew the front to the back and then you add the sleeves and this is just the perfect fit and it's made out of cotton and or I'm sorry it's made out of knit they give you the neck band it just all fits perfectly I actually have a sewing video on the sweetie pie dress right there if you want to click on that card and I'm going to leave a link in the descriptions tab below where you can get this dress you can make it into a tunic if you'd like this one I left off the sleeve and I just added the neck bands but really I've made this one so many times it has a cute uh, twirl to it where they they would have a lot of fun twirling in it but this one goes really cute with some ready-to-wear leggings and uh, or you can even just make a matching set in this one as well okay so this next one i want to show you is called it's the west port and i love this one so much they even have a boys version so if you have a son or a grandson that you want to sew for you can sew them up this this coolest button-up shirt and it's called the Bayfield and that's a PDF pattern by Little Lizard King and I can just imagine the cutest little boy going to school on his first day in just a shirt that he loves like I made this one um, using a Hot Wheels pattern and this one is so cute you make it with like a quilter's cotton I think is the best pattern to make it with so even this one I made it with the cutest quilter's cotton I think this is like a Riley Blake and then you've got the cute little buttons you can make I just love the cute little collars and the contrasting neck band that you can put in here this one on the girls this is the Westport and it's fully lined and you can make it into a tunic I also made one into a dress one thing that I recommend if you make it in a tunic probably I think it'd be better to use like a poplin or a rayon so that the top lays flatter uh, more easier it flows better but when you're making the dress that one yeah you can make it out of this quilters cotton so let me show you a picture of this one and this pattern also comes in the sleeveless version and you can also make it in a long sleeve version you can make it into a tunic or a dress so you have a lot of options with that pattern as well and it would just be perfect for school. Okay, so I have another PDF pattern that I made from Little Lizard King as well, and it's called the Galena, and I've made it into a dress, I've made it into a tunic. I love these cute ruffled sleeves. It also comes with the neck band, and it is separate for the skirt. It's got like a cute little peplin top, so I have a few of them right here, but then also I've made it into just a plain shirt where I just extended the bodice but look at how cute um this one ideally is you would make it with like a double brush poly that's what i usually make mine with and then look at how cute again this is the galena pattern and they even come with these cute uh sleeve bands to sew up at the end of the cute little ruffle sleeve this is one of my favorite shirts that i've made for her so you could sew up a few of these to make for them for back to school and so i think that one would be very cute as well and again you can make it into a little into a shirt like this or um, do like a peplin top or even a dress if you wanted to do like a cute back to school dress and honestly, you cannot resist the cutest bishop sleeves. Okay, this next one is kind of like a bonus. It's the sixth pattern, and it's called the Going Home Pattern by Ellie and Mac, but I love that cowl neck, and it just looks really cozy, and the ideal fabric that I use with this one is a French terry. I also have it, um, I made it in a double brush poly as well. So this one is a double brush poly. It's so quick and easy. It's like a raglan sleeve and then you add that cowl neck. And this one is great for fall going into winter and you can make it to where it's really warm in like a French terry or a fleece or this double brush poly. Now, if you need some leggings to go with all of those tunics and dresses and shirts, I do have a tutorial on how to make leggings. So 
So make sure that you click on the card above. And I do want to thank you so much for watching my channel. So until next time, happy sewing. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.